Uh, we, we had a lot of success in 2021, and a lot of those guys graduated. And in 2022, I think it was expected that we would continue to have that success and didn't realize quite what we needed to do in preparation. And I think our guys understand that now, and they've approached this offseason with that mindset of, hey, we've got to get better every single day. There's no days to coast that we just got to keep rowing our boat each day. And if we do that, we'll get to the destination that we desire. To be ready for like the first game, especially with like a lot of people talking about our depth, trying to get our depth right, just making sure we're like in the condition for our players to go like both ways, just to be able to compete and have that energy when it comes to week one. Yes, this group's, this group's hungry. Uh, the expectation here is to make the playoffs and to be successful in the playoffs. And, you know, we want to take it one game at a time. We don't want to look past that. But at the end of the year, that's what we expect to be doing, and we expect to be very competitive when we get there. Well, the expectations are always to make it all the way, always want to get that state championship. But, I mean, we definitely want to – we definitely – our expectations are right now are to win the region, come up top of the region since we also changed regions this year, 5C. So, yeah, looking to come up on top. I'm blessed with the staff that we're working with this year. We have uh, three – or actually four former head coaches working on the staff. Um, Coach Friedman is uh, – is, uh, works well. He's a great guy in the community. He does an awesome job for us on the staff. Um, my dad, I'm extremely happy to be working with him. It's the greatest thing in the world. Couldn't ask for anything more. And then having Coach D. Fran back out here with us has been awesome. He, he, he's a great resource. He's a, very knowledgeable. He's passionate. He gets, a, gets the kids excited to go. And I, I'm, it's, been, it's a really great staff, and I'm lucky to have him. He's one of the best players in the area, one of the best athletes in the area, one of the best quarterbacks in the area. I mean, he, he can do it all, and uh, he's going to be a special quarterback for someone one day, and he knows that, but he's all he's focused on is getting better each and every single day. He knows he's going to play big-time football and be a great quarterback somewhere, but he, all he's worried about is being the best quarterback he can be for James River. If we focus on getting better each and every single day, uh, we tell him, row the boat, get 1% better, stealing those things from other, you know, very successful programs. If we do those things every single day, the score is going to take care of itself on Friday nights.